Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome. What a great day. 304, I'm doing an update on Matt. What a fantastic, fantastic gap today in Matt. Top pick, top watch, beautiful trade, top swap, stock swoosh pick. Great gap. Great, great call by me, and great sticking with it. And I even full on added back because I was in this thing and it had a perfect, perfect, perfect setup that it would have been crazy not to add more in. <laughs> and I was still in a portion of it from the morning. So let's go over it. I'm completely out of this now, an hour left in the trading day. And uh, what a great day. Wow, really, thank you, Market. So let's take a look here at what happened in the mat. Although I did do a video on this earlier. Let's squish everything down. The entry in the mat here was from this morning, aggressive entry beautiful trade, worked, drop in the morning, got to be out of some there, rally back. I did not exit the whole trade. I was waiting to see if it would go to the full on target. That's exactly what it did. And it actually could have gone to a crazier even number in here today. Uh, but I'm all out of this now. And as the day goes on, if you have targets and you're looking for bigger targets or dream targets, you have to watch the time, okay? Because I want to be flat by four o'clock. And, you know, you have to be realistic here when you got to look at the clock. You're still in something that's working, it's getting down, 3 o'clock major reversal time, hits a number. I mean, you can't ask for more here. However, the stock did actually have a completely new entry or an ad if you wanted to do it later in the afternoon or late morning, really early afternoon. It was around, guess what, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So drop in the morning here, rally back up. Wasn't going to take any more of this, but this is absolutely picture, 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 picture perfect. And I had 100% conviction in this all day, and then I had 100% conviction it would break down in the afternoon. And I was already up money in what I had left, so I did an ad. It was a quality ad, okay? And it worked, and it worked, and it followed it all the way through. So today was just an amazing day. And then perfect exit. Let's go over the exit. First of all, you can have your order out to hit you out of the target. You can do that. I really don't trade like that. I usually watch how it acts at the next number, and then I use reversal signs, which I teach in the class, to take it off, okay? You could also lower the stop down. You could also bar by bar it. I actually don't bar by bar things unless I'm just going to press it to get out. But, I mean, you could put the stop bar by bar. I don't really do it. I just hit myself out. When I see it's not going to continue, but I do give things a chance. I actually did get... I actually did not take this off here. I actually did give this a chance. And it looked good, and I thought it was going to continue, and it looked good, and I thought it was going to continue, and then I looked at the clock, and I said, that's it. So I'm all out of this. Great, great exit in this. Now, you don't always get out of the trade exactly at the low of the day, but I pretty much got out of this at the low of the day here because I don't think this breaks down again. There's only an hour left of the day. All this now is short covering back up into itself. This is a nice longer-term short, by the way, as well, although I'm not in this anymore today here. I've completely out of this, and it was a great day. And so you can take charts and setups in the afternoon when you get a gap. It's amazing, and that's working really well. I really usually only do it in something that opens and swooshes or uh, something that I'm still in or something that I'm still in, I'm up in or something that I've already booked a lot of money in that I feel like I could hold it all the way through. She got a lot of different options. I don't take brand new trades in the afternoon when I haven't done anything in the morning or I'm not having didn't get in it in the morning. Like I was in a piece of this from the morning, basically, and then I just did the ad. So it was a great day here. Great day and a beautiful trade. And it really feels like Friday. And I am going to a party tonight. So what a fantastic day. I mean, it really does feel like Friday. And I'm gonna have to take some pictures of the party, but until then I'm gonna have to actually uh get rid of some of these pictures on my phone and send them to my email because I have almost 3,000, <laughs> almost 3,000 pictures on my phone. <laughs> and they're all of New York in my apartment. So anyways, uh, I'm going to have some great views of the place I'm going tonight. So I'm definitely going to have to download some of these things so I can take some more pictures for tonight. So look for pictures on Facebook tonight of New York and Manhattan. And thank you so much, Stock Market, for a great day. What a wonderful gap today. It is so nice to pick the right thing in the morning before 9.30, before the market opens, have 100% conviction, have the trade set up, be in it, have a fantastic day, be in it and get it to the huge target, do and add everything, perfect, perfect gap, perfect day, perfect everything. Thank you.
and there'll be more to come because it's really, 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 really going to be a great month. And this is just the beginning. So great job, everybody, today that did this with me. I think everyone did. And it was a fantastic day, and I'm sure a lot of people in the Stock Swiss Show Live trading room are celebrating today. I don't know if everybody held this all the way through, but even if you got out of the whole thing in the morning, it was still a beautiful trade. And every once in a while, you'll want to hold something to a bigger target, and you'll want to do an ad. And this certainly, certainly gave it today. Um, and it was very clear as well. So great job, everybody. Uh, again, the initial entry on this was right out of the gate into the open in Matt this morning. The ad was around 12 o'clock noon-ish, okay? And when you do an ad like that, you must lower the stop. But I did book a chunk of the trade into the morning move, which is the right thing to do uh, because the morning has a lot of volatility. And I'd say most of the time, the stocks make 75% of the move in the morning. Actually, let's just look at that. Low of the day in the morning was what, 36.11. Yeah, so you look at that. <clears throat> the nice thing about this where I really was able to power this up and magnify it was with the ad. This is an advanced concept to do an ad in something. This is something that I actually teach in the entries class to do these ads. It's just not something for novices. But I'm looking at this now, I realize it actually only broke uh, 16 cents from the low from the morning move, but the ad really helped me hit this thing today. <laughs> Because of the rally back up, and actually, if I had out of the whole, if I had, if I had exited the whole thing here in the morning, I probably wouldn't have done the act because I would have just went on with my day and did something else. So I was glad that I held on to some of that. Glad, glad, glad. So have a great day, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. If you want any more information about the upcoming Golden Gap class, it's July 26th and 27th. Have a great evening. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information on the next Gap class. I do have people already signed up. Have a great day, everybody.